everybody, this is John Bain. What I welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are, back at the farm. <laughs> and I bet I got, you know, I decided to kind of try out some platform type stuff um, around the plots themselves. Just for aesthetical reasons, I like to build like like form with function like i've said before to try to make things do what they do it's kind of why i like these up here because it adds like a greenhousey kind of like watering effect visual to it and i like the glass with the metal i think it looks nice and clean um i was toying around with some of the lighting too so i put uh, up some of these i don't necessarily like them i was just like hey let's try it see and then i made light poles with the uh with the headlights and that that looks okay i think we still need to go through some faces on those before i'm completely happy with them also i got tired of sitting here by myself farming and I brought Cookbot out, and we made a grill. And Cookbot moves now. This is a little dance while he's grilling in here. I see a nice grill. There's a little bit of heat coming off that thing too. And it's got a, it's got his lovely uh, it got his fridges here. Got a radio because he can't do you know Cookbot jams when he's got his jams on. So right now he's got a slow jam. Right here you can see the little setup. All I did was a quick little connection on a bearing underneath him just in case he has water, and then did a little rotation on the loop. And he's just chilling. He's dancing now. So he doesn't have to stay static. He can just kind of just think. You can see right there. I don't really I really care. I, this is temporary too because we're going to be needing to build a base in the future but that time is not now let me show you what we have done we've got some spuds we've got beets we've got carrots we've got some apples we've got some bananas we've got some blueberries we've got some tomatoes and then we've got seeds for days and i got so many seeds i dropped the tomato seeds because I, I we get more seeds the more we plant so there's like it's excess so um i was doing gonna do more but it's taking such a long time um, that I decided to stop doing more because uh, we need to get some episodes out and I think that's enough to get done what we need to get done at least to a point in a, in a moment. So anyway, um, I have, what else have I done? Hmm. Oh, uh, it figures that I would do the chemical thing at the beginning of the last episode and um, <laughs> and then now we can, we can now pump chemicals. Uh, it figures, uh, I'm hoping we get patch notes soon. I'm gonna eat cause I got food. No more of that crap. Oh, look at that. And I like beets. Like, for the out of the basic foods, beets are nice because they give you even amounts of food and water. And that's nice. I'm, and I'll, uh, what was gonna say? Oh, yeah, the chemicals thing. I, this figures. Uh, we're supposed to be getting patch notes soon, too. Uh, most survival games that I play, you get patch notes when they patch. Uh, like, especially with games that have PvP, because, uh, you know, <laughs> people. Uh, put a lot of time into these and whenever something changes like it, it really affects like meta for gameplay and it's just surprising we haven't gotten any no, no bad on them I'm, they, I'm sure they have their reasons and whatnot but it's just kind of surprising so anyway we can now pump chemicals i've got it going i did have some people ask me about chemical what i mean not chemicals but with pumps why do i want to put so many on a box it's because when you're out of render distance stuff doesn't work so when you leave and there's 25 water in there and you come back three days later, there's still 25 water in there, probably 26 or 27 by the time you reach it. But so that's why I have multiple pumps going into a single chest. I want that because it fills up three times faster. Like if you have three of them on there or two times faster, whatever you do. So that's the that's the goal. That's why I do that. So instead of sitting there for like, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I sit there for five minutes or 10 minutes. You know what I mean? And I'm kind of worried about how far away the water is from this. That we, uh, even if I max out the the draw distance, uh, if it will actually be able to run the whole system over. But I've got sand going on, so I can make all the vacuum tubes. Cause uh, I'm, I'm down. I'm down to try it. <laughs> I'm down to try it at least. Yeah, we'll see uh, how it goes. It's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of mats. But we're doing what we got to do. Uh, what else have we done? We've done. I uh, farmed a lot of stone and metal. Uh, we've done that. Uh, what else? Are, just so many different things. Just trying to get them prepped for the episode just in case we need stuff, we're good. But I do like how the walkways kind of looked. It's kind of generic-ish, but it's just a start to get used to the building and scrap mechanic as in necessary bases and stuff and aesthetics. I want some fencing up. I want some more stuff than this, but this is just a start. We're going to share it with you guys. And the problem, too, with gardens and building on ground level is like I want to keep the garden like ground level like as close to the top of the walkway as possible but we have these certain tufts of grass that we cannot get rid of that poke through regardless how you know we can get rid of most of the grass coming through but these tufts we can't get rid of them I really wish we could just destroy them or something or you know what I mean and that way we could build up something nice but so now I've had to put up with it so other than that though i'm pretty happy with how it's coming together either way uh we have all these fruits and vegetables 
and uh, we need to, well, uh, we need to get them sold. We need to get them packaged up and gone, and I'm just going to load up our Explorer. This is going to be interesting to seeing how uh, the Explorer handles a crap load of trade packages, because at least we don't have to go that far, but we still, we still have some interestingness that's going to occur, I think. Uh, with weight distribution. <laughs> I'm up for it. You guys up for it? Oh, also want to thank you guys so much for all the support of the videos. Thank you so much for checking it out. The subscribers, um, everybody that joined the Discord, I got, uh, I'm got. i glad I was able to help you out with the irrigation uh, schematics from the last episode. Uh, like I said, uh, this is like a, a, a Mark II version. We're still going to do other ones that do more things, but the baby steps, uh, part of it is also to see how much the latency is going to affect our stuff. And then see how how nice we can make it kind of look too. I, I don't just like mechanical components and that's it, unless that's like a theme. I wanted to kind of you know again I've already described that. But anyway, we'll be doing more of that later on. We got more wrath tests to do later on with the blah blah blah. But we got to get rid of some of this fruit and vegetables because it's gonna go bad if we don't get it to them. It it doesn't. Anyway, let me get loaded up. We'll be right back. All right, it's the next morning and we are arriving because it's such a long drive. All right, tomatoes check. Beets, check. Carrots, check. What have we got? Where are they at? Those are tomatoes right there. That's what we need. We're going to put you on the front, man. Get on the front. Get on the front. We're going to put you on the front, man. All right. We need to rotate you like this. And then I have things with me. <laughs> and I guess I have a switch. I have a switch. It's kind of like become a meme now. Um, <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. I mean, there's worse things to be maped about, I guess, you know. Uh, let's get you lined up. I'd rather just line it up like this and then drop it. You know what I mean? Like maybe like that. Is that right? It might, uh, once you drop it, it should be good. Yeah, it looks like it's about good. All right. So let's put you on the bar. I'm going to throw in a vacuum tube because why not? And then put you here. There we go. And then take you and put you on here. Go ahead and take that. Put you on that. Let's go ahead and take you, put you on this. There we go. Let's pull up a little. Oh, well, good thing we checked. Get in there and get in the hole. You get up in there? All right, are we gonna do it? Yep. I could do a loop for this if I wanted to, but I really don't want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and spam out as many packages as possible. I might save some tomatoes. I don't know. I might as well just go ahead and do them all. Then I'll, I'll do another farming round for edibleness. Um, no, nah, I'll save some so we can make some more of the burgers for something else we're going to be doing, but, um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's just, just go ahead and slam all these out because it's going to take a little while because it's 10 each and I'm spamming this. I really should have made a loop, I guess, with a kill switch. It is what it is. You guys, hold on. All right, I did get tired of pressing the button, so I made a loop here in case you guys want to do it. If you have a lot of crops to drop off, like a, there's the tomatoes and some beets on it now already. Um, we have, I probably need to go set those down because the physics aren't going to like it. The front one here is an and with the switch attached to it and your pump. And then it goes to another and that connects to a timer. I have the timer set to uh, 400 milliseconds. Seems about like the fastest I can get this to go. And the last one in the loop is set on nor. So this will actually is the starting one and it will also, it, it stops it. So it won't, if I press the button, it will stop it like that. And I press it again and we're good to go to keep going. So that, that's kind of how I'm managing it. Um, let's figure out to show you that with my loss of frame rate. I better go ahead and stack these things before it gets too crazy. I was kind of hoping to get a huge pile, but I guess there'll be an organized pile by the time I'm done here. So, yeah, I need to do that. All right, you guys, hold on. Now we're going to try and play catch. Let's see if we can do this. Let's, come on, come on, come on. Get it there. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're almost done here. I think what we're going to do is end up sending... Oh, we can get this one too? Oh my god, this is kind of actually kind of fun. Uh, especially after all the sitting around we did for the farming. Another one here comes, here comes. There it is. <laughs> it doesn't get to get away. It's ours. Get in my pocket. Well, I don't have. Get on my shoulder. Really can't say get in my pocket. It kind of looks like a robot from that end, too. Like it's like a big old mouth and stuff. That's kind of cool. Just notice that. Uh, this one might. I might not get back in time. Oh, come back. Go, 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 get, get. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to call this vegetable baseball uh, or, or dodgeball or catch. Vegetable catch? I don't know. What, what name? What should we call this? What, what's a good name for this This uh, here? 
I don't know. The, the ground is lava for vegetables. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to finish up the rest of these carrots and stuff. I'm going to see if we can fit all of this on our vehicle and still be able to somewhat drive. Uh, we'll find out. And then we'll need to go do the blueberries and the bananas and the other stuff. And then we might have to go somehow build something to get people. Uh, you know, the, the, the Nicholas Cages. We got we to get some of those guys too, I think, to build. We'll get, get stuff. So anyway, let me get this done here. We'll be right back. Okay, it's loaded up. <laughs> um, I have no idea how good this is gonna work. I've put, I've bumped the engine. Actually, I tested a little bit with a full max engine, and it is, it, it is too fast, too powerful for this amount of weight. It can actually, it, it, it gives, does a pop a wheelie. Uh, the suspension looks like it's gonna hold up just fine. It's fine. I thought I left room for the wheels, but I might not have. We'll find out, won't we? Oh my God, let's do this. We have a trader to go visit. Okay, it turns, it turns. Okay, it does. We're gonna go straight. I can't scroll the, the oh, oops, oops, I can't get over that because I have no suspension right now. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go legit. We gotta go legit, let's turn. All right, let's go forward. I'm surprised that we have any form of turning. I tried to make it as balanced as possible. We're gonna go for the no lift from flipping thing. Now, if we get stuck, I can't help that. That's, that's, just, that's, just side, that's the side's point, but I'm gonna try my best not to flip. We do have some hills to go up though. So this is a chat. Oh, we can't go through the hole, can we? <gasps> I might have to use a lift to get through the hole. I'm sorry, guys. I just thought of that. So if we continue to farm like this, we're definitely going to have to build us a semi truck. I want to build a semi truck. You know, and people just do a flatbed or something. I think I'm gonna do a semi truck if we can, like something like one. It might not look exactly like one, but in theory. All right, here comes our first major hill. This feels like challenge mode. Okay, so that's not gonna work like that. So let's slow that down. Slow it down. You can stop, you can stop, you can stop. All right, so I gotta take you out, put you here, put you on this, press one, open that up. We'll go ahead and give it some more gas. This is gonna be scary because um, this engine's powerful. It might rear up. Yeah, it's rear, rear, but we gotta get up the hill. I'm afraid to do max though. Is it spinning out? Serious? Oh no 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 no! Ah, oh, we lost the challenge. Ah, oh, man! <gasps> I forgot. We can't. Oh wait, wait, wait! I can use a lift. I can use a lift. We can do this. We got this. We got this. There's a, there's a spot right here. Get underneath there. Push it up. Go. And then push up further. Oh no. Oh no, we're screwed. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to have some fun. <laughs> All right, I think we got something worked out. I should have been planned better for this than, than I did. Usually I'm pretty big on planning and testing and stuff, but I was like, just go for it. So I made a quick trailer and Oh, I forgot to put the turning in it. Great. It just goes up and down. That's great. That's fine. We're fine. We'll make it work. This is going a lot easier, though. I have half the amount of veggies, though, pretty much, but we're still getting up here. So that's what matters. Uh, uh, turn, turn, turn. No, okay, that works. That worked. The bearing's holding up. Okay, we got this. We got this. We're good. We're good. So I guess that's the way we're going to do it. And the semi truck thing would work out. I think if we had electric engines on it, good amount of weight in the front of it and a decent sized bed that can fit through there, we can do mass veggies at one time. And that works for me. So what am I going to do here if I can? Uh, does, does it want to work with me? Does it want to work with me? I, next one, I'm going to put a bearing in the other spot too. So we have a left and right turning axis here. See if I can do this right. Oh, come on. There we go, and go over here. I guess if we just get up close enough, we'll be fine. Um, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna take out these guys. And what are you attached to now? Are you attached to this? And then you're attached right here, maybe? And you're attached right here. There we go, there we go, that's off. Now it's all off, and then I can take you, get rid of you for the moment. 
get rid of you for the moment and let's just see if this how this handles like a snap together load it doesn't so i have to break them up to let it take it is that what it is oh i just keep pressing it okay we're okay okay cool i don't have to unsnap it then so we can do something like that have like a use shape trailer have one snap point or connection point break that connection point when we get here and drop it off on the bed like this probably behoove us to make the trailer bed about the same length as the width of this this platform and then we'll be good to go okay come on i'm gonna see how much it is because i didn't feel like counting it and then i'll have to go back and get some more and then put the other bearing on i was just you know to be honest i was just so ready to be able to get up that hill that i didn't think about it honestly there we go. Oh, yeah, one of the one is going to reach it. No. There we go. All right, so let's see. What do we have here? Hello, Nicholas Caged Not. Uh, 10 beets, 5 tomatoes, 10 carrots so far. And what's it take for spud guns? Uh, let's see what we have here. We're going to have to get some Nicholas Cages for sure. But that's broccoli and that's pineapple. So that's end game to your growing there um but this one here just a nicholas cage with blueberries and oh and apples or yeah or oranges something yeah whatever we have the stuff um what else do we have in here today beets okay i don't know so it takes 10 beets to get 10 fertilizer that's actually not a bad trade-off and we don't have any other seeds here except for these seeds i don't need them actually all right, so I'm going to get this thing back together. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do in case there's like, I know there's a lot of people that really know how to play the game well, but in case some people don't, I'll just to let you all see what I'm going to do then. Um, we're going to take this off, this off. We're going to take you right here. We do have a little bit of space in our in our area, so we should be okay. That should be there. And then we're going to put you here and then bring this off to about right here. And let's see, Is I probably might need to put one more in here, I think. And then we'll take the top of you. Put you on right here. Am I in the way? Is that what it is? Oh, is the current one in the way? Is it just too low? It's probably too low. Let's get rid of this then and try this out on level ground. And try this out. There we go. It, wait, what? Why do you why do you not? Is it because of what's it's already in the way still? Like this is kind of stupid, but okay. Let's take you. Let's put this here. Let's try this out. I'll put the one back again. Yeah, yeah, yell at me all you want. I'm, listen, I hear you, got. Let me, I'm just, just having fun, guys. We're having fun. I like, this is like a lot of time. We've taken a lot of this episodes kind of seriously, and I'm just trying to have some fun right now. Two. All right, so that's probably going to be too high, but... Oh, yeah, that's too high. All right, you, I deserve to get yelled at. <laughs> Let's try this one out. Let's put this one here. There we go. And it's still a little high, but with the extra we have going on we should be okay all right so let's see how we drive much better all right cool this will work cool all right i'm gonna get the rest of it bring it up here then we'll go ahead up the uh the fruits and stuff just a quick check in got it all up here no problems let's look at the trailer up and we have 20 beets 21 tomatoes and 21 carrots so now it's on to the other place to do a few bananas, some uh, apples, and uh, I think I got some broccoli and blueberries. So any, I got a broccoli, maybe. Oh, did I bring them? I don't know. We'll handle it. But either way, we got some more fruits to go. Just wanted to show you guys the haul, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with the haul. I think he's kind of happy with it, too. So I, I, I feel like we're going to be in excess of things. And if we start getting into higher tiered seeds and whatnot, um, we'll be able to, at least we have a, a stockpile of beets up in this thing just for um, getting like some nice stuff and apparently the prices change over time so uh we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes oh we can buy those later on oh okay 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 anyway <sighs> the saga continues <laughs> all right we'll be back okay i built this trailer and for the other thing and i'm gonna hope that we can do okay with this one um i feel like i need to pump the shocks up in the back it's some i can't do it anymore because they're yeah i didn't see now we have a reason well actually i don't plan to use this again um after for this type of thing the next time we start moving vegetables and fruits we're going to make a specific vehicle for that as long as i slow it down when i need to turn I, my front end catches on sorry if it's a little dark to you guys but um 
I, this is I'll, I'll say this this episode has taken a lot to prep for a lot of time to prep for and the episode supposed to take a long time and i don't mind that i just feel bad because you know i've been trying to knock out episodes for you guys and get stuff done but this is how it is but this is prepping us as well for a really exciting next episode too but this uh, just so you guys can see the pain before you just go and do it kind of share some of the the if you're going big you know what what to, what to expect um i could have probably have made this trailer a little longer but i don't feel good with the vehicle we have pulling it it's like using a a, a corvette to drag a, a, a like a pontoon boat that was like 35 feet long or some crap like that so not a good idea that's that's what i'm trying to say but we're making it work so we can get it done um, and I'd rather devote an episode to trying to build the best hauler, and this is giving us the experience we need to make that happen, I think. And, and the trailer itself actually works decently well for as simple as it is. Um, we're going to have to go grab some, 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 some Nicholas Cages too, and I think we'll be able to do a modification of this to grab them. We are not going to go that way. We're going to go this way, I believe. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, I cleared this forest. Ha 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 ha! I think we'll be okay-ish. Please don't hit anything. Please don't hit anything. And then go over this way. Wait, wait, is it enough over here? Is it? Okay, there's the road again, so it's over this way. Oh, there's a drop over here somewhere. We gotta be careful. As I run into a tree. Ah! Thank you, tree, for straightening us up here. Okay, so we go up this way. Some walk meat. And we're able to pull it up, no problem. Cool! Alright, so that means we'll be good to go for the rest of the way in there. I've got one more load after this, and then we'll head off for some Nicholas Cages. So you guys hold on. It's been a long night. All right, finally, the last of it. <laughs> we're, we're here to do a, a count on tier one and tier two stuff. So let's see how what we get, all right? So come on, get loaded up in there. Is that we're closing on the last of it? Is there any more? There is, I just can't see it. There we go, that's it. All right, cool. All right, and the winner, well, I guess the, the, the final count is on um, that portion of the episode. 14 bananas. Uh, well, I guess we could have saw it. If you got somebody put it in the box, it doesn't really matter. But it's nice to see the total together. That's kind of what the thing is. So 14 bananas, 10 blueberries, 14 apples, uh, 20 beets, 21 tomatoes, and 21 carrots. And for the gun, we already have the veggies in place. Very nice. We just need to get, well, you know. Wait, we could buy that now? That actually isn't that bad of a price. And it gives a focus on what to grow. I know it probably changes over time, but... And we need ammo boxes for that, too. That's still, that's even cheaper. Wait, that's a potato one. I, wouldn't, I guess it only uses... Like, it has five slots on it, so that's, that's cool. But we'll be getting this one. Can I press trade and get you now? No? Okay. All right. So the goal now is we're going to have to go and hit up some... Um, lovely gentlemen that are in cages that are round and the idea will be to i'm going well we'll do it when we get there but let me just check my mats right quick make sure we're good to go make sure we're good to go Wait, wait i thought i had is it right here uh, uh i'm gonna go grab some more i'm actually gonna just disassemble this thing we'll build something specific i've got my, some bearings on me too we only need a few i need to get a controller as well um i already have those okay cool i know what we're doing we're getting there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you're thinking so far. The the fiasco with loading the thing all the way the first time, that was mostly meant for fun, but it, it added a considerable amount of time to the whole shebango. So we're, we're, we won't do that again, uh, and we'll build a more reliable-looking trailer and a hauler for it, too, because I think... I, I, I have, this this gave me good ideas. Give me ideas. Anyway, I'm going to go and get this thing. We'll so get over there, grab the stuff I need, and we'll go meet up the dudes. I guess we'll see. I know where there's a spot, I think, with two of them. So we'll probably just go there you know, because that's all we really need right now. I don't need more than one spud gun um, for personal use. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, we made it to a spot. Is there more than one here? There's two here. Perfect. And there's a hay bot. Hey! Hey, boy. How you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm stuck on I'm stuck on okay there we go okay cool all right this is gonna be interesting where to set up oh hello potatoes um it's gonna be interesting to set this thing up because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to move it and it feels really good to have my vehicle back the way it was I, I honestly I missed it <laughs> okay so I brought this box which has these side walls on it and we're gonna do another little trailer hitch type thing set up here to make it 
transportable, and I like using the metal. I'm sure there's good reasons not to use it, but I kind of like it, and I like having it up a little higher. And that goes there, and then we'll bring the tongue out, like, about that far. Let's do that far. Okay, cool. All right, so this time we're actually going to try and level up the wheels with it, too. Um, the width of these guys... The height, whatever, the overall, the, the circumference is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine ish. So let's make this thing 11 wide. I know this is getting kind of maybe 12. We'll do 12. They can, they can move around a little bit. Uh, let's use the woodses. I have plenty of that on me. So let's come down to here, right about, let's do this. All right, and then we'll do an odd number. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll give us 13. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there we go. And then what we're going to do is try to make a little a little hole in the middle for it to be like a little shoot for it, you know, like a, a little spot that they can kind of drop in. And then once they get in place, we'll like lock it up with some some more stuff. We could end up automating that with like controllers and stuff. The only reason why I want a controller now is to potentially have a ramp or something, but I might not need it. And I'm interested to see what happens. I guess these guys just get sucked up. There's not really anything that really... I'm assuming that's all that happens. Let's pull this over. Okay, there we go. And then... Oh, that's... Is that off? It's just... I'm tired? No, it is off. So let's go in another one here. So I should make this a little bit quicker. Get you off of there. Let's go down here. Let's take you. Let's grab this. So we have one, two. There's okay. So we have one, two. Okay. So this is here, and there we go. All right. So I think that should be wide enough. Can I get it? There we go. Thank you. All right. And then let's add some wheels on the side. Uh, after we get them on, maybe I don't know. No, we gotta have we gotta have the ramp form to get on. Well, can we do this? Holy crap. It's nighttime. Okay, I gotta wait for daytime. <laughs> so we're not doing this in the dark, and you guys can see what's happening. You guys hold on. All right, it's daytime. I've added in another thing. I'm gonna add one more road just in case. You know how crap goes downhill. I wonder if I can just get it in here. Uh, we'll bring it in. Let's bring it in one more just in case. Like, yeah, screw it. We'll try it. We'll try it. And I feel like if I do that, then I should do this. And hopefully we can get it in there. And it's going to be, a, it's it's level since it's on a lift. So let's find out. Oh, that thing, I forgot how fast those are. <laughs> no, go that way. Go that way. Not that far. Go, go back. Okay, that way. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Over here, buddy. I can't go down any lower. No. Okay. Here we go. Almost. Get in there. Get in there. Is it too? Okay. It's, it's too small. All right. So let's pull out that row again, and let's pull out this row. Sir, we're trying to help. Okay. We're actually gonna take you somewhere that they'll get you out of this cage. Just. Oh yes. Oh crap. Oh, uh, one hit would have done it. I should have had a. I should have put a stopper in the front. I didn't even think about that. Uh, let's put a stopper behind it. Make maybe right here. And maybe he'll pop right in. And I'm stuck. Am I stuck? I'm stuck. And I'm hurt. Are you serious? I hurt myself that much. And okay, that'd be interesting. Don't fall in there again. God dang it! Can I get reach you here? There, that works out too. Okay, uh, go in the hole. Yes. It looks like it made it pretty easily. Don't ever say that in a game, John. Especially not a survival game. And then, can I bring one across the top? Uh, kind of. Help. Can I put one across here? Okay, this might do it. This will lock them in. And I have, an, I have enough for another piece, too. Okay. Good learning experience here. Learning how that the game wants... Like, how, how we can get these guys in here, first of all. And I feel like it, it, it fell in pretty solid. Uh. Okay, do this. Oh, I could go lower. Perfect. All right, let's get the other guy. Where are you at? Up here? 
I might have should have done him first. All right, here we go. And I think it was Mojo Jojo in there. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> I am Mojo Jojo. Let's get up here. And no, 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 go back, go back, go back. No, this way. No, not that far. It's your fault, man. I'm just trying to help you out. You're the one that got. Who, who put you? How'd you get in the cage in the first place? Oh, that might be a good hit. Oh, get in there. Right. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dad. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Stay. 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 Is it, okay, it stayed. <gasps> we did it. We did it. We did it. This, no, this way. This uh, almost. Okay. Uh, This way. Perfect. I don't even care if it looks like crap. We got them in here. That's two of them. Locked in. Loaded. Ready to roll. Check and check. Yeah, uh, don't be yell for help. We're here. We're helping. You see this? We're getting you. We're getting you a new home, okay? Inside of a huge vacuum hole, thing, area, place, place. We'll go place. Black. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. Let's just do that, just in case. All right, you guys are locked in. Uh, it's time to see how bad this sucks. Uh, I guess I didn't need these. I brought them just in case, but um, I think we're good to go. Oh, I need wheels. <laughs> All right. Uh, when this compresses some, we the bottom row here actually looks pretty good. Let's bring it out one on each end just in case. Uh, what did I do weird? Okay, so this might need to come. Uh, where's the line here? That looks like that. That looks like that. I'm just gonna uh, screw it. It's gonna be it's gonna be the jankiest thing ever. But it's it's uh, hope, after the experience with the veggie tables, we should be good to go. Uh, that didn't work because I was too close. All right, let's go. They settled in. All right. Okay, they aren't that heavy, so we can actually keep our power right. Oh, yeah, this is like cake. Yeah. Much easier. Don't flip, though. That's one thing we... Well, I haven't... I've actually been pretty good at driving lately. I hit a tree. Uh, honestly, though, I've been pretty good at driving, so I don't I don't feel like... Other than, like, regularly. Not, not what happened earlier in the episode. I'm just talking about in general. Okay, so that front one's locked in good. Before I get rid of this trailer, I'm going to write down the dimensions and see if we can get a controller set up uh, where we have the, the gates, everything folds over it. So we can get them in there, then close the controllers on it, and then it locks them in, and then maybe do, like, an 8-space one or something like that. Maybe 10. And since they're so light, using the Explorer to get it shouldn't be that bad. All right, we're getting up here. Slow down at the top. Don't do a jump. Don't hit the kern. Don't hit the kern. Yeah, this thing is all off. I don't really care, though. I'm just happy we got him in here. This was this is the easiest part of uh, doing the whole thing. Holy crap. That was nice then. Way to finish it off. That's like icing on the cake because it's real smooth and up on you. You know what I'm saying? You ever get too much icing and cake, it gets all on you. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we're going in here. All right. Stop. Get out. Press the button and... I don't know if you really want to go in there, but you got to. I need a gun. All right, we did it. Let's do it. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I saw that I had a 10 broccoli in my inventory, but as you can tell, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't mind getting the shotgun down the road or the Gatler, but anyway, we got enough. <sighs> Let's click the button. Nice, and I did get three spuds. Um, uh, hmm. I do like the fact that we. This actually feels like, okay. Oh, nice. What's the, how do we do on the range on this? What is it gonna hit it? <gasps> it shoots decently far, really. So we can, and it holds its trajectory pretty good. It does. And that's it. That's it. Oh my God, we got the spud gun. You know what that means what the next episode is going to be? It's warehouse time. We'll have to head up one of the boss boys. The big meaty red boys. And then also, then we'll be headed right into the warehouse and seeing how we do. Because I'm excited to get there. I'm excited that we got this done. 
we have we have a just just look at that one more time we've we've went really we worked really hard for this so i uh, this is this is this has been this has been yeah it's been <laughs> hello. hello yeah so 14 8 12 20 21 21 and one not too bad and i like how the mountable one is is that i have an idea Oh, by the way, we might be having, uh, if they never, if we end up being fine with the base where we're at, the farming, I still want to build another base on the ground and actually, like, test the defenses and have some fun with that, too. So, you know, that's going to be our main area up there, but I still want to build in other places, too. So, I mean, there's, there's, we still have a good amount of life in this, regardless of what other people are doing or whatever, because I, I, I feel like it's going to be fun to do some of that. Well, I'm sure there'll be updates and things like that, but we have a warehouse to get ready for and why am i going that way because my place is up here i need to measure that but either way that is the topic up for today hope you guys are like what you see if you like what you see don't forget to slam the like button it helps out a lot it really do <laughs> and as always guys thank you so very much and you all have a good night all right let's get out of here let's go let's go maybe <laughs>